seriously on making the band. I wanted to make sure that everybody can live with their decision, so now it's time to really pull the trigger. But how we go forward is something I still need to think about. I need to make sure, like, I still want to go down that road because it was real stressful for me. Okay. All right? All right. Baby, Two songs down. Feeling very positive about the opening of this record. Good work, guys. Good. We clap it out. So your focus needs to be on promoting this album. You got me? You know, I agree. The reality is that your, your dream is in jeopardy. today I'm going out to promote like Diddy told me I got to get out on the road and whether if it's one fan at a time that I'm winning them over I got to go out and do that so I got this week planned is just crazy appearances after appearances after club after show it's just it's gonna be non-stop it's gonna be crazy but it's what I got to do headed to Minnesota. I'm going to the infamous Mall of America to just reach out to my fans there. Like, hi, my name is Donnie. I have an album in stores right in this mall, and you can go pick it up if you like my show.
everything went awesome. Like, I needed this to happen to, to bring my spirits back up and show me, like, this is real. Like, look at this. It's Minnesota in the house right now. I'll go into the middle of nowhere in Minnesota and I have fans there. So there is fans. We just got to reach out to them. It's like a dream. Like, it doesn't feel real. Yeah? I saw you singing along, too. Oh, yeah. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Too shy. To give you. Too shy. <laughs> you know what my birthday is? Oh, my God. <laughs> I feel like the president. It is so tense in this house right now due to the fact that when you're a new artist, you really don't make that much money. And like, we're not making money at all right now because we were recording our second album, but we had to stop because the deal for that, that album is not finished being negotiated. So we're like at a standstill right now. Like, what the hell is going on? Day 26. Day 26, we do have management and he goes by the name of Screwface. <laughs> Yes, I said screw face. <laughs> you gotta get it popping. It's time to really sit down and, and focus. So, yo, so um, the record label came back, and there's a lot of stuff that they they um, they changed. We're gonna get into the particulars tomorrow, and then we'll finalize exactly what those things are. But I say we're 75% there. We're gonna give on some places and take on other places, and I think it's gonna be real good. Um, I feel real good about it. I feel really good about it. I mean, y'all can be happy now. <laughs> right. <laughs> so anyway, <laughs> moving on right along. I'm sorry, Screwface. Yes. Are we jumping back in the studio prior to the paperwork being done or no? Absolutely not. Let me try to explain something to y'all. We're supposed to be in the studio recording the album, but the paperwork is not done, so we can't record. And we don't have an advance. That's zero dollars. The only way an artist makes money is that we do shows. That's, how it's, that's where the money comes from. But we can't book any shows because we're booked to be in the studio. So again, there's zero dollars. Zero plus zero equals zero. <laughs> Not good for day 26. Hello? Yeah. yeah. I'm okay. I I'm, I'm fine. We honestly hit everybody and we were like, I don't got no money. <laughs> And I have a family, Will has a family, Brian has a family, but my problem comes in, like, in my situation, I'm 20 years old and I don't have a father. My father died when I was four. And my family's calling me and and they need, and I'm not able to support them. I just, I don't want to make it hard on them, that's why I said. Mom, I have to support my family, that's what a man does. You know what I'm saying, that's a, that's a man's job, that's a man's job, but it's so hard because I feel the same way you feel. But because you're going through your situation because you don't have any money, you're going through a lot. So I'm trying to balance all these things out so you can be comfortable. I'm living this big life, and I feel like in this situation that I'm in, I should be able to support them. But we don't got our vans, we don't got things, we don't got shows. No cash flow is there anymore. I really love you, and I we want to get through this with you. And so, when, I don't know, like... You know, you just got to look out for it. That's all. Okay. I love you. Making the band 
special announcement. Make it a man, make it a man, make it a man, special announcement. Make it his band, make it his band. The new show coming to MTV, make it his band. Check this out, y'all. I'm going to make me a band. I'm the his in making his band. And I'm coming to L.A. for the making his band audition. If you sing background, you in the church choir. I want to see every musician. I want if you play the drums, you play the bass, keyboards, guitar, full band. Drive your butt, fly your butt, walk your butt, run your butt, crawl your butt to L.A. Two days from now, this Saturday, March 7th. Then after that, we're going to go to Chicago. Then we're going to go to Detroit. Then we're going to go to New York. Whoa! For information, you can log on to makinghisband.mtv.com. Last train to Paris. Get on and get off. Yeah. Peace. <laughs> Danny! I'm bored. <laughs> bored? <laughs> Are you guys doing any shows at all? I got a show tonight at Sweet 16. Oh, really? Yeah. Where? Staten Island. Where's it? So in, I... Isn't it like Long Island? No. Okay, what's the difference between Staten Island and Long Island? Long Island's where I'm from. So how come you don't really hear, hear much about Staten Island now? You do. Wu Tang is from Staten Island. So you going to the hood tonight to go sing in the Sweet 16, huh? Uh, <laughs> all I know is it's going to be popping. Oh, yeah? This is sick. I'm about to go from the Sweet 16 at 11 at night straight to Connecticut for 1.30 show and then straight to a flight at 8 a.m. straight to Jacksonville, Florida to do a mall thing and then a, a club. It's like, it's nonstop. I'm, I so hate you right now. Why? Because I feel like we stuck in limbo right now, man. Like, I'm just really ready for everything to hurry up and get ironed out so we can really get back to work. Sweet 16s are the perfect spot to promote yourself. That's just the center of the fan base. That's, that's where it's at. Those are the girls that call up radio stations, that go out and buy the album, that go online and, and check MySpace and everything. Like, these are the fanatic fans, and I'm about to go in and perform. So this, this is perfect. <laughs> singing along every single word. It's these experiences, like, I'm thinking back, yes, Diddy said it's here today and it could be gone tomorrow, but it's this kind of experience that it is here today, and if it, if it might be gone tomorrow, at least I could enjoy it today. Like, these fans, in a way, kind of just said, Diddy, like, we need Donnie here. We need him. This is, like, he should be in the music industry. We love him. And thank you guys, because you guys are helping me prove myself to Diddy. So thank you. We are in limbo! 
We not in the studio. We up here basically doing nothing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We supposed to be in the studio working on the second album. And like, we ain't doing This is the story of our life. Contractual agreement. That's what I'm like. All this paperwork yeah, should have been taken care of way before all this came, exactly. came about. I think we should be working like Donnie's working. We should not be here in this house all the time. We should be getting shows. How do you not have no shows? How much sense do that make? We are day 26. Right. That don't even, I don't get that, dog. I'm sorry, that just made me mad. Like, that, that statement just pissed me off real quick. With an album in stores, videos, like, there are no shows. I just want to work. I don't care anymore. Like, I just need some money. I agree. I agree. I, 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 I agree with that. I, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have said anything, but I'm sorry. My family's involved because financial issue. And I understand that. I get it. I know it's a business. I get that. But it's frustrating me, and I can't see clear because my family is up right now, and it's on me. I understand where you're coming from. And honestly, if I win your shoes, I'd probably be upset as well. But, Q, let me say this, dog. And I don't want you to take this in no type of wrong way, dog. You are 20 years old. You just turned 20. You can't even walk into a liquor store and, and buy your beer if you try to. It's not your responsibility as a 20-year-old to, to hold down a household. You know what I'm saying? It's not your responsibility. It's not fun being broke. It's not fun being in limbo. Especially if y'all negotiating a new contract, that takes like forever. So y'all are on a hold like me. Yeah. So, how are you? Man, I really wish I understood what's going on with my group. I feel so, um, you know somebody just be like, you know in the middle when we started, in the beginning, we all started our grinding, we were hustling, hustling. I feel like I'm there now after all the hard work that you went through, you see, back I'm at I went through, I'm back at one. You feel me? Like I, I feel like I need three more jobs just to make ends meet and still do this. But then it's, it's like, your damn, life. It's my, it's, it's, it's our your life. life. Same That's message how you live in your life and you trying to make money and bread for your family. Yep. I'm trying to make bread for mine. Family, yeah. So where does that leave you guys? You know. I don't know. It's a lot of tension. Be careful, though. When you feel like you're not getting money and you don't feel like anyone's around you, you start looking out for yeah, stuff. So. Especially with Day 26, y'all have five different personalities. That was the same thing with Danny King. Like, I don't think all of us were 100% for Danny King. I think we said we were, but yeah, we said we were, but then we were putting ourselves before everything else. And that's a normal, that's like survival of the fittest. That's a normal thing. I but y'all got to go back to the, the fact that it's bigger than you guys. You guys just have to stay fast to, the, to the, the goal at hand. No matter what else, whatever fight you get in, it doesn't matter, you know? Stay fast to the goal and you'll be fine. We arrive in Lexington, Kentucky. We head to the radio station. It's going to be a jam-packed night, but all great promotional stuff. J.D. Wells hanging out with Donnie Klang for making the band. Are you pumped up? Yes, sir. Is it like still cool to hear your songs on the radio? Oh, my God. I still get goosebumps, especially like if I'm in the car and, yeah. and it's like I'm driving and I'm like, oh my God, that's my song. And will you do the dance from like the video and stuff when you grab some girls and get in the back of the limousine? Every time I hear the song, I gotta, gotta just reenact the video because that was probably the best experience of my life. <laughs> <laughs> the radio station set up a little game called Win a Date with Donnie. We're gonna ask them trivia questions about me, about making the band, and the winner Gets to go on a date. We'll ask you questions. You guys will buzz in. Donnie will decide who buzzed in. What is the name of Donnie's first single? Thank you there. Yeah. yeah. Thank you there. Where in the world is Donnie Clank from? Levittin, Long Island, New York. Do you give her credit for that one? She got it right. She got it right. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't know. What color are you? Two songs down. Feeling very positive about the opening of this record. Good work, guys. Good. We'll clap it out. So your focus needs to be on promoting this album. You got me? You know, I agree. The reality is that your, your dream is in jeopardy. I'm 
I needed this to happen to to bring my spirits back up and show me like this is real. Like look at this. It's Minnesota in the house right now. I'll go into the middle of nowhere in Minnesota and I have fans there. So there is fans. We just gotta reach out to. Them. died when I was four and my family's calling me and and they need and I'm not able to support them I just I don't want to make it hard right now that's why I said mom I have to support my family that's what a man does you know what I'm saying that's a, that's a man's job that's a man's job but it's so hard because I feel the same way you feel but because you're going through your situation because you don't have any money you're going through a lot so I'm trying to balance all these things out so you can be comfortable I'm living this big life and I feel like in this situation that I'm in, I should be able to support them. But we don't got our vans, we don't got things, we don't got shows. No cash flow is there anymore. I really love you, and I we want to get through this with you. And so, when, I don't know, like... You know, you just going to look out for me. That's all. Okay. I love you. I love you guys. Making his band, making his band, the new show coming to MTV, making his band. Check this out, y'all. I'm going to make me a band. I'm the his in making his band. And I'm coming to L.A. for the making his band audition. If you sing background, you in the church choir. I want to see every musician. I want if you play the drums. Everything went awesome. Like, I needed this to happen to, to bring my spirits back up and show me, like, this is real. Like, look at this. It's Minnesota in the house right now. I'll go into the middle of nowhere in Minnesota, and I have fans there. So there is fans. We just got to reach out to them. So you're singing along too. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Too shy. You know what my birthday is? Oh my God. All right. 
like the president. It is so tense in this house right now due to the fact that when you're a new artist, you're really the bass, keyboard, guitar, full band. Drive your butt, fly your butt, walk your butt, run your butt, crawl your butt to L.A. Two days from now, this Saturday, March 7th. Then after that, we're going to go to Chicago. Then we're going to go to Detroit. Then we're going to go to New York. Whoa! For information, you can log on to makinghisband.mtv.com. Last train to Paris. Get on and get off. Yeah. Peace. Johnny! I'm bored. You bored? <laughs> Are you guys doing any shows at all? I got a show tonight at Sweet 16. Oh, really? Yeah. Where? Staten Island. Where's it? It's like, isn't, it, isn't it like Long Island? No. Okay, what's the difference between Staten Island and Long Island? Long Island's where I'm from. So how come you don't really hear, hear much about Staten Island now? You do. Wu-Tang was from Staten Island. So you going to the hood tonight to go sing in the Sweet 16, huh? I don't know. <laughs> All I know is it's going to be popping. Oh, yeah? This is sick. I'm about to go from a Sweet 16 at 11 at night, straight to Connecticut for 1.30 show. The reality is that your, your dream is in jeopardy. Does he have the courage? Does he have the stamina? Donnie, do you have 